going to be all right, Doctor? Just a minute, please. What happened? Stumble bums. Only stumble bums. Over 200 I've screened. You're wasting your time. I told you before. You want a champ? Name him, I'll buy you his contract. I told you no. I'll find a boy. And I'll make him into a great fighter. By myself. All right. Well, Pete, do I tell the sporting world you found the man to dethrone Joe Thompson? Don't be smart, pal. Your brother never gives up. You'll find him, boy. I know I'll find him. And I never give up. All right, you guys, wrap it up before you give each other a cold. Sometimes these bums need a shot in the arm. Gee, thanks. Mr. Sampson. Yes, Mickey? You know, I used to be pretty handy with my dukes. Yeah, I know, Mickey. I know what is a great fighter you can get for free. Where, Mickey? In prison. I saw a young heavyweight. Hits like a champ, fast as a lightweight. Name's Terry Williams. What's he up for? Manslaughter, doing a 10-year stretch. Real good, huh, Mickey? Good. I ain't never seen anything like him, and I seen them all. Except when maybe I'm out of circulation. Uh, when can I catch him in action? Well, they hold shows every Friday and workouts on Tuesday. That's tomorrow, if you can get in. Well, I'll get in. Nick will get me a pass. And if he's good as you say, you won't be sorry. Williams comes from a small mining town. No parents. Claims he's innocent. They all do. What do you think? Well, he sounds convincing. He's a strange boy. Keeps to himself. Doesn't make friends. Sullen, but cooperative. And in this corner, Terry Williams, former resident of Mineville. An old man was making a political speech on a street corner. Williams started to break it up. Two men tried to stop him, and Williams knocked one of them down. Cracked his skull. Manslaughter. Is this record clean? The winner! What's his chance of a parole? He hasn't served minimum time yet. I'd like to meet him, Warden. Yeah, okay, let's go. Terry, this is Pete Sampson. Hi. You hit hard, boy. Sorry. Mr. Sampson... Hey, may I, Warden? Go ahead. I'll be back in a few minutes. Excuse me. You want out? I got a ranger. What's the catch? No catch. I'm a fight manager. I don't like fighting. The way you hit, you don't have to like it. What makes you think I got what it takes? I know. I don't know. You want a rotten prison? No. You want freedom? Fame? Money? I want out of here. I'll get you out. And in two years, you could write your own ticket. Well, what do you say? I'll do anything. You're as good as out. You never refuse me anything, Nick. Why do you refuse me now? Look, you can't get paroles just like that. You can. What do you think I am, the governor? Mm -hmm. You're Nick Sampson. You do the impossible. No, look, I can't do it. He's got to serve minimum time at least. This boy killed a man. If it were any other charge, I might be... No, 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 no. He's innocent. How do you know that? I believe him. Look, Pete, forget it. Forget this kid. Let me buy you a champion. I told you, no, no! I want Terry Williams. I won't do it, Samson. See me after the election when I'm governor. Then I can put through his parole without question. 
Williams has got to be paroled now. It's too dangerous. Sam, my brother's sick. I can't help that. I'm sorry. That boy is innocent. You know it and I know it. I have too much at stake, I tell you. Election's only a few months away. I can't afford any slip-ups. Suppose I got Williams out and he started snooping. We'd both be in trouble, serious trouble. Stop worrying, will you? DeVito's his only witness, and DeVito's been out of the country since the trial. I just can't. Sam, your political kitty needs fattening up. You need my muscle, boys, at the polls. Are you trying to bribe me? I remember a certain district attorney named Sam Hannum who was bribed with a judgeship to railroad this kid to jail. If you hadn't hired those hoodlums to beat up that speaker, I wouldn't have had to. We had a political organization to protect. How was I to know that he was going to pitch in to help the old man? Look, Sam, you've just got to see it my way. You talk too much. You think so? Listen, if my tongue ever really got freewheeling, it'd blow those gubernatorial aspirations of yours right out the window. My brother's sick. This boy can help him. I want him out. I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. Joan, this is Mr. Sampson, one of my ward leaders. My niece, Miss Hannah. How do you do? You'd better see that he's elected, Mr. Sampson. Sam's already bought his inauguration suit. June. Well, I was just telling the judge. If he makes the right move, he's in. Nice to meet you. June. This is the most important campaign of my life. I wish you wouldn't jest about it. Darling, I think you'll make a very handsome governor. This is the office. Nice layout. They can I use it. This is the locker room. Put your bags in. Through this door, the gym. Well, what do you think? Nice setup, isn't it? Yeah. Come on. All you, Terry. Everything. And this is your own private locker room. And shower. Even when you fight in the arena, we have a special passageway to the ring. All right, Ify. Oh, Bell. Here he is. The next heavyweight champion of the world, Terry Williams. Have I seen you around? Uh, no, you haven't. The kid is from out of town, been under wraps. Well, I told you I'd show you a champ. I hope you're right. He was going to be middleweight champ. Get out. I'll see you punching, Williams. Newspaper men, all alike. Believe nothing. Punching. This is Terry. I want you to take good care of him, huh? Sure, sure. All right, Punching. Sure, that's the new entry. Have feet. Looks good. Solid chest. Hey, you should go to distance. Hey, Terry, this character's long shot McGinnis. If you want anything, name it. He'll get it. Anytime. Anything. I got the connection. Yeah, but don't bet on his tips. And this is Doc. If you get a cut or a bruise, Doc will fix you fine when he's sober. Pete's little joke. I'm sure it is. Glad to meet you, Doc. Thank you. OK, you guys, scram. Terry's got a heavy schedule ahead of him. Come on, Doc. Punchy, where's the mouthpiece? Never mind, I'll get it. I'm Nick Sampson. I'm Pete's brother. Terry Williams. Yeah. Hey, you look like you can fight. I hope you're good. Pete went to a lot of trouble to get you out. He won't regret it. Nick, you coming or shall I go by myself? Yeah, I'm right with you. So your brother's found another guinea pig. <laughs> don't mind her. She's always making jokes. This is Candy Allen's Terry Williams. How you do? Hey, don't get any ideas about it. Your face is clean, but for how long? Get out. Get out. Heck, I told you. Women don't belong around here. Yeah, Peter, sorry, right. we're going. Don't worry, Butcher, I'm leaving. If this boy had any sense, he'd give you the gate, too. Don't talk to him like that. Don't call him that name. You know how sensitive he is. Sensitive? Ha! Huh. 
fight managers are as sensitive as butchers in a slaughterhouse. Shouldn't talk to her like that, boy. Nick. Yeah, I'm coming. That girl. She hates fighting. Punchy used to be her fiance. One, 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 two, punchy! All right, all out of tight. Just a minute, boy. The stomach. 12, 22, 12, 22, 12, 22, 12, 22, 12, 22, 19! Sorry, Jake. Well, it teaches structures without thinking. Good work, boy. Another week and we'll be ready. Is this what I'm ready for? Never mind, boy. This is only the beginning. It'll be the tough spot in the garden before long. Harry Williams. Terry Williams. Are you Williams? Yeah. I'm Pollard. Has you poised? Uh-huh. I feel sorry for you, kid. This is me 89, and I'm in great shape. <laughs> I'll slaughter you. I'll knock you silly. I'm going to start a new streak with you. Yeah. Don't worry about that palooka boy. Did you see his face? Yeah. He's a punching bag fairy fighter. The only time to worry is when your opponent's got a clean face, not a mark on it. And you know you've got a dangerous man in front of you. Come on, we're on next. This is four rounds at 210 pounds, Zorilla Bola! You boys know the rules. I want a good clean fight. Shake hands now and come out fighting. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. William's opponents like a housewife picks tomatoes, trying to make each one a little bit better than the last one. They all went the same way, though. Five fights, five straight one-round knockouts. <laughs> Used to love to hear Pete shouting the numbers. DeVito. Do you know him? Hmm. Who? Terry Williams. We've met business-wise. He has a bad reputation. How interesting. Judge, how about a picture with you and Williams after the fight? Judge Hannibal paves the way for Terry Williams' new start in life. Good publicity, lots of votes. I don't think so. Darling, remember your inauguration suit. You boys know the rules? I want a clean fight. Shake hands, go to your corner, come out fighting when the bell rings. Thank you. 
Let's try to find him. Judge, let's go to the locker room and get that picture now. You too, Miss Eddie. Come on. Hey, V, V, Judge Hannon wants in. Let him in. Okay. Come on. Well, Pete, I've got to hand it to you. The boy's terrific. I'm christening him the Samson Slasher. Thanks. Punchy, go say nothing. Oh, uh, Pete, meet Judge Hannon, our next governor, and his niece, Miss Hannon. That was a fine knockout, young man. Legal, too. Oh, Terry, how about a picture with you and the judge? It'll be good publicity for both of you. Use the one we had taken together two and a half years ago. <laughs> Read all about it, the gang killing. Hiya, Terry. I heard the fight in the radio. Was Moida. Can't wait till the extras come out. Okay, Gumbo, put in your lip. We want some info. What's the matter? I can't talk? I got a right to. What kind of info? I told you the last time. Terry's fight on the corner with the two hoods. Yeah, yeah, I know. Terry goes to the camp for KO and the guy. I told you before. I've never seen it. What happened to the old guy that got beat up? He disappeared, vanished. You know a guy by the name of Joe DeVito? Does the name DeVito ring a bell? Look, Chad, ain't gonna sell many papers if I stand around and chew the fat. He used to hang out in this neighborhood. Have you seen him? Sorry, champ, I'd like to help. It ain't healthy to mention certain names. Make it worth your while. Money ain't good. Extra, read all about it. Gangster killed for squealing. we're confronted with a financial failure. Unless we get a great fighter to oppose the champion, we won't even draw flies, according to Mr. Bell. Doesn't sound good, does it? Get Terry Williams. He knocks out everyone he ever fights. I believe Mr. Bell tried, but without success. Really? Let me try. Make me Mr. Bell's assistant. Why, Chew? It's dangerous. Criminals and gangsters. On the contrary, Martha. Why, some of the nicest men I know are fighters. <laughs> Do I get the job? Yes. And sharpen up the glamour. There's more at stake than just a fighter. <laughs> what do you say, Nick? Don't you ever give up. Look, time's running out. We've only got a couple of months. Speak to Pete, will you? Not interested. What kind of talk is that? You own stock in this arena. Don't you want to fill it and make money? My brother handles Williams. If you'd ask him, he'd do it. Look, I don't care if Williams fights or not. You know what I think about fighters. Just a bunch of meat. You cut them up, throw them away, bang them up, and get fresh meat. Why don't you leave Harry alone? Why don't you mind your own business? Harry is my business. Nick, stop it. Harry, get on the rubdown table.
Hurts here, doesn't it? Yeah, how'd you know? I know. Terry looked good this afternoon. Good? That's not enough. I want perfection. When I get through, Terry will be the greatest champ of all I'm time. giving him that chance now, Pete. What chance? Be serious, Pete. All the experts agree that Terry's the only fighter that can stand up to Thompson. Well, straight one-round KOs is a pretty good record. It's a great record. Will you sign him, Pete? See me next year. You're kidding. I never kid. Well, why next year? Knock out punch is not enough. He needs more boxing experience. Now, the year, we'll have eight or nine more fights under our belt, and the champ will be a year older and rusty, I hope. Oh, look, we've got a show to put on. Get yourself a punching bag. Pete, it's for charity. It'll help a lot of little babies. Babies don't interest me. Nobody interests me. Batarian, Nick here. Go take a shot. What do I care about charities or benefits? What did anybody ever do for me to make me so charitable? Nick, Nick, tell him how we used to starve as kids. Yeah, me and Nick, the great Nick Sampson. We were lucky if we had one meal days on end. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what Pete used to do to forget that we weren't eating? Books. He used to eat every one he could get his hands on. This kid's as smart as any college professor. Go ahead, Pete. Say something high class for him. You know, about the Greeks and the Romans. <laughs> Come on, Nick, please. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> That's it. Smile. You look sharp. Don't you always just smile? I will, when Terry's chance. Just when will that be, Pete? You'll know when. You ought to be psychoed. Shut up! Don't talk to my brother like that. But the slicer's good. There's no reason why he shouldn't meet the champ. There's the reason. Punchy Adams, one of the greatest amateurs of all time. His tin horn manager wanted some fast money, so he shoved him in with top pros. Look at him. His brains are so scrambled, he can't remember when it's lunchtime. That's not happening to my boy. There's no comparison. Nick, tell him. That's his boy. I can name a dozen fight managers to give the right eye for a chance at the title. You're a little mixed, Bell. You mean the managers would give their fighters right eye? Yeah, yeah, a double sober. For me friend, Al Bell, the big sports writer. Right out of the horse's mouth. What? You got a tip to move. Ha <laughs> ha! The coppers finally got smart to that out of order sign, huh? Well, that's tough, kid. Look, you try the Pensy Station, huh? I got it in now. Will he pay off? Like a sort of fight check. Where is Nick? He's not at the club. He's not here. That bell's waiting for him, too. Hiya. Punchy, I mean Harry. He's still in the gym. How is he feeling today? Swell. The doc says maybe they can operate on him soon. You're taking care of Harry, aren't you? You know I do, like he was my kid brother. Hello, Harry. How are you feeling today? No girls. I just wanted to know if you're all right, darling. Sure, sure. I told you, no girls in here. I just wanted to help you, Hannum. This is Al Bell. Can you be over to the next office in ten minutes? Good. What happened? It's punchy, wasn't it? So help you. You leave him alone. Look, how do you think I feel? Come on inside. doesn't remember you. He doesn't even remember yesterday. Well, I remember him, and I remember many yesterdays. I'm tired of you making passes at him. He's barely conscious. He was plenty conscious years ago. Was, Candy, was. Don't yell at me, Nick. I don't know why I take this from you. All I'd have to do is whistle and a hundred girls would come running. Remind me to buy your whistle. What do you want from me, Candy? Don't I get you everything you ask for? You want to call it quits? I didn't say that. Well, you know how I feel about Harry. Yeah, all right. Forget I ever said a word about it. Sorry I blew my top. Doc says Harry will soon be ready for that operation. Sure. When the time comes, I'll see that you get the best surgeon. 
Hello. Oh, you made good time. We'll be through before Peter rides. Uh, long shot, meet Miss Hen. We should meet you. Likewise. Is Terry still working out? Are you kidding? That Pete has him working hours every day, even on Sunday. Well, we'll talk to him. Uh-oh. You know Pete's rule. No skirts. Excuse me, I mean no dames. Why, Miss Hannah's my assistant. Well, I guess that makes it different. Makes me feel like I've lost some of my charm. <laughs> Through, Terry? Just about. Terry, you know Miss Hannah. She's my assistant. You have excellent taste. Thank you. I didn't lose it after all. That's a personal joke, Mr. Williams. How do you do? How do you do? Well, they are soft. From your record, I thought they'd be hard as iron. June's going to help me promote the milk fund show. I'm sure she'll be an asset. On the contrary, Mr. Williams, you'll be the asset. Hey, there's no girls. No girls allowed. It's all right, Harry. Uh, excuse me, I've got to move around and keep sweat uh, perspiring. Go right ahead. I'll watch. Terry, how'd you like to be heavyweight champ? How'd you like to own the Daily Bulletin? Well, when a fighter's a champ, the public forgets his past. It's not funny, Bell. Oh, I'm sorry, Terry. I didn't mean it that way. You know, a champ can do no wrong. All right, Bell. What's on your mind? Quite frankly, Mr. Williams, we need you to draw a capacity crowd for the Milk Fund show. I'm not your man. Oh, but you are. Your record's very impressive. I'm sorry, Miss Hannum. It's not in my hands. Oh, they impressed me as being very capable hands. It takes more than hands in this game. Doesn't the championship mean anything to you? That's Pete's decision. One fight, more or less, wouldn't make any difference. It is a worthy cause, and you could arrange it if you wanted to. Pete Sampson arranges my business. All your business? Did that make you feel better? Yeah. Come on, Mr. Bell. Mr. Williams' gloves fooled me. He's all iron. with the show? I'm afraid not. Without you, there is no show. So here I am, trying again. Well, I say, a break in a little road work for me, will you, Sean? This road work is going to break me, Club. <laughs> I'm uh, sorry about the other day. Oh, I was to blame. It was my fault. I shouldn't have gotten mad. I've been reading about the chap. He really is a killer. Yeah, he is good. Uh, would you like to sit down? Mm-hmm. There are a lot of good heavyweights around. Name one. Well, uh... You see, you can't think of a single one. I can't think, looking at you. That's the sweetest compliment I've heard in days. It's no compliment, it's the truth. <laughs> what made you become a fighter? Uh, I don't know, circumstances, I guess. Good punch. What made you ask? You? I'm glad I left Pennsylvania. They say in autumn there, the flowers are very beautiful. They say that? Uh-huh. Have you ever smelled flowers when you were only thinking of them? Yeah. No. <laughs> Has anyone ever tried to pry this open? They should have. Like this. But they didn't. Sure? The girls in Pennsylvania were shy. And the boys? Pushovers. Call me at home. Now, your uncle mightn't like that. You call me. That's new for me. Call me? I like the way that sounded. Will you? And drop all Wellesleyan tradition. You're wonderful. <laughs> I like the way that sounds, too. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just thinking, look what an innocent milk fun show started. <laughs> You'd better keep morning, going, otherwise 12, you'll be betting on a horse. I see the road work didn't break you. Oh. Baby number eight, Miss Glory, ridden by Lurks, paid 4430, 1820. Bye. Call me. Uh -huh. First race? 
Maybe it's just as well if we aren't. Longshot gave me a hot tip. <laughs> everything about yourself. That's all there is. I got out of the war, went back to college, got restless, came out here, and then that incident occurred. I still can't understand why someone in the crowd didn't testify for you. I'll find the answer out yet. Let's talk about something pleasant. Me? A very pleasant subject. Did you ever have a steady girl? Thought we were going to talk about you. Did you? Oh, no one like you. No one serious. I talk better with my fists. Your talk is honest and fresh. It's like rain in the country. When I was a little girl in England, I used to love to listen to it rain. When it poured, I'd run outside and drench myself in it. I'm crazy about you. Terry. Say that again. Terry. Nobody ever made it sound like music before. You talk music yourself, Terry. You're real. A walk with you means two feet on the ground. June. Yes. Love me. What does that mean? Mm hmm? Love. An awful lot. Why did you say it? I did. Again. I love you. I need you. What's come over you? I can't understand it. Lately, you act like you got two glass hands. Do they hurt? No. Then stop pulling punches on sparring partners. They get paid to be banged around, so bang them around, understand? When you hit, you hit to knock down. Yeah, Pete. You muffed half of my signals, too. I'm off today. Yeah. Pete, come in. Pete, you know Judge Hannum? We met one. I want that jailbird kept away from my niece. Terry's in training. He don't go out with girl. Stop pretending. Pete, listen to this. We wonder what the reaction of Judge Hannum will be when he learns that his lovely millionaire niece is being seen everywhere with fight sensation Terry the Slasher Williams, the boy he sent to... You all right, Pete? You keep away from it, Judge. Come on, relax, boy. It'll be all right. Williams, I want you to keep away from my niece. You're not in court now, Judge. Don't give me orders. That's gratitude. If it weren't for me, you'd be rotting in jail this very moment. I wouldn't have been there in the first place if I hadn't been framed. Jails are just full of innocent people. Yeah. Nothing like keeping bars between them and all the loose crooks on the outside, huh, Judge? I can't reason with him. But you two, if you don't keep this hoodlum away from my niece, I'll revoke his parole. You know I can do it. How long have you known her? A couple of months. Flying pretty high, aren't you? What does that mean? Well, you know, she's big stuff. Family, society, heiress to millions. My father was a coal digger and I'm a convicted killer. Uh, did I forget anything? Terry, fighters and women don't mix. It's oil and water. I know what I'm doing. You gotta keep away from that girl. Hannum's dangerous. I'm not afraid of him. I'm living up to my parole. Well, you cross the judge and he'll revoke your parole. I'll never go back. I gotta know how I stand. Just what do you want? Success or a girl? You can't have her and be a great fighter. And I won't have you less than a great fighter. Pete, I, I only started seeing June to try and get some information to help clear myself. I don't want you to have anything on your mind but fighting. Yeah, kid, you're gonna get yourself into a mess. You must keep away from that girl. You handle my fights. I'll handle my private affairs. You mess up your private affairs, there won't be any fights to handle. Thanks a million, Nick. Come in. What's so important, Judge? Any trace of DeVito? Well, no, but I got all my boys out looking for him. 
You've got to find him. Didn't I tell you to stop worrying? Samson, you owe me a favor. So? The Prescott News Syndicate has promised me their support. But I must arrange that milk fund show. Where do I come in? Deliver Terry Williams. Huh. I don't have a piece of Williams. He's my brother's boy. He'll do it for you. No dice. As governor, I could do you a great deal of good. I'm doing all right. I'm disappointed in you. I thought you were a man with ambitions. I got what I want after. If I go any further, I might step on the wrong toes. No, thanks. I need your cooperation. Anything but this, Judge. You could find yourself in tough sledding. I wouldn't put it past you. I need that new syndicate support. Look, I got a luncheon date with my girl, so... Uh, if you don't mind... Is that your last word? Well, no, of course not. I'm not dead yet. Pete, you got hold of a terrific thing, you don't even know it. What do you mean? Well, I was talking to Big Dan, to Westcott, to Broadway Bill. They all say this boy of yours can take the champ right now. Oh, no, 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 all no, right. it's not okay, so. Okay, don't get excited. Only these guys are experts, and besides that, I think he's ready, and the judge thinks he's ready, too. The judge? How's he figuring this? Nick, what's between you, the judge, and Terry? Why do you think this place was raided last night? Look, Pete, I want that back room to open up again, and the judge will let me do it if Williams fights. Why? Why? Because Mrs. Prescott wants a benefit to be a big success. So she works on Prescott, and Prescott works on the judge, and the judge comes and asks me. You know, it's the old buck pass. Why are you doing this to me? You're smashing all my dreams. Look, Pete, you can't live in dreams. People won't let you. You gotta wake up, wake up. I don't want to wake up. All right, take it easy. I'm sick of everything. I believe in something, and it's kept me alive. Now look, you want... Look, boy, you know I'd kill for you, but sometimes you irritate me, like now. You can't close your eyes to facts, especially in this racket. You know how we got here. I didn't dream it up. I had to make deals. I had to connive. I had to double cross. Well, it's guys like the judge that got us here. I want his protection again. I can't afford to lose him. And that's why Williams has got to fight. We've got to think of ourselves, Pete. Just you and me. Nobody else. He and that niece. It causes misery. I know it. I feel it. I'm sorry, Pete. Honest, I am. I cut my arm off for you, but that match has got to be made. I need that boy. Not like I need you. It's different. It's like I made him. It's like something I brought to life. Can't you understand? If you kill this dream, you killed me. Terry's not just another fighter. I'm that boy. When he's in there fighting, I'm in there fighting. Every blow that hits him hits me. You can make me sacrifice. We're not ready for the champ. Please, Nick, please. A man has to believe in something. Be proud of I don't relish the idea, Jill. Please, dear. You always get your way, don't you? <laughs> Must be Terry now. Come in. I'm waiting for you. Yeah. I was talking to June about you, Williams. Something bothering you? Please, Terry. Yes, it's June. She's taking an interest in you. I want her to be happy. Thank you, Sam. I'm sure there's more to it than that. Well, to be frank with you, I'd like to see you fight the champ. Why? You'd be an important fellow. That's up to Pete. Seems Pete is the head man where Williams is concerned. Don't you have anything to say about it? Well, what do you want me to do, darling? I want you to be happy. It isn't really important whether you fight or not, but it is important that you think for yourself. Terry, 
You've got to plan for your future now, something beyond fighting. I'm sorry, June, but there's a certain matter I have to clear up first. Besides, I owe Pete something. Pete, 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 does he run your life too? Must you always do it the hard way? Must you always fight? That's what I'm trained to do. Go ahead, then. You'll wind up like the rest of the fighters with nothing more than a scrapbook full of memories. Wait, June. He told Pete and Nick Sampson he was seeing you only to get information concerning his case. Do you deny it? No, but I... That's all. The entire election could have blown up my face. This was a narrow escape, Samson. That boy's crowding us. Where's DeVito? I had him put in jail, vagrancy charge. Then he'll be shipped out of town. Well, you haven't got a thing to worry about. Without DeVito, Williams hasn't got a leg to stand on. Yeah, that may be so. But Prescott's been calling me every day. Well, I can't budge Pete. Why won't he sign? Well, he says his boy would be overmatched. Just what does that mean? It means he'd be outclassed at the champ of slaughter. Really? Yeah, just what's so funny? My niece hasn't left the house for a week. Quarreled with William. But if he were to take a good beating, maybe a broken nose or... I think she wouldn't see him in the same light. Well, you sell it to Pete. You saw what I could do to your business. Yeah, that's quite a trick. I have a box full of tricks. I'm giving you 48 hours to sign Williams or I'll open it. Hello. You're June Hannum, aren't you? Yes. I've heard a lot about you. You're very pretty. Thank you. What's your name? Candy Allen. Candy's day and... Well, I wouldn't know. I'm not allowed in the gym. Look. Look at the pictures. All men. Pete Sampson's iron curtain for women. He's a sad little man. He was jilted. Now he blames all women. I think it'd be better if you saw Terry outside. Possibly. Is it important? To me it is. We quarreled. I came to straighten things out. You make it tough for the rest of us girls. <laughs> There's something exciting about this atmosphere. Yeah. Like looking at last year's hats. I can't quite describe it. The pictures. The smell of wintergreen and alcohol and so much activity. Romantic, aren't you? All I see are cuts and bruises and broken, battered bodies. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen Terry fight? Once. He was so sure of himself. You're falling in love with him. I am in love with him. If you really loved Terry, you wouldn't let him fight. You'd tighten up with fright every time you heard he was matched with someone. Your head would ache. And your heart would pound like you'd just run up a flight of stairs. I know. All I know is every second he's away is like an hour, and every hour I'm with him is like a second. I love to fight her. Harry. I never suspected. First his nose. Then his eyes and lips. And then it... happened. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Sit down. Drink this. Thank you. I'll be all right. You go home. I'll tell Terry. You sure you'll be all right, Candy? Sure. me, Mr. Sampson. I want to talk to you. Couldn't we do it another time? I'm in a hurry to get home. Now. I'm sorry. It's very important. I'm sorry. I haven't the time. Doc, what is it? He's having those headaches again. Can't you do something? Let him rest. I'll bring the car around and get him to a hospital. Remember me? Candy. Can you smell the perfume? You used to say I didn't have to be in a room. But you would know I was there anyway. Touch it, darling. 
run your fingers through it like you used to. You said it was so soft and silky. Why, you can. Harry. He nearly recognized me. You all right now? Silly of me. I thought I was completely empty of tears and emotions. <laughs> That's something. It's not rational. Excuse me, I've got to work out. Oh, June was here. When? About ten minutes ago. She said she'd be home. Terry's life. What do you mean? If you don't leave him, he'll be sent back to prison or murdered. If you really care for him, you'll forget him. How can I forget him? I love him. Haven't you ever wanted anything more than life itself? Haven't I ever wanted him? Haven't I ever wanted him? Look at me. Do I look like a man that has nothing to pray for? Can't you think of someone I'd rather be than all else in the world? Terry. Yeah. Terry. Terry. You've got everything. But I. I made him what he is. I created him. You created him to hate and hurt people. I won't give him up. Now listen. June. Pete. What happened, darling? <laughs> people don't cry for nothing. Let's have it, Pete. What did you say this time? Nothing. Don't give me that nothing routine. Let's get one thing straight. Unless you leave June alone, you and I are finished. Finished? Finished? I'm your brains, do you hear? You're no good without me. I knocked out plenty of guys before I met you, and I'll do it again. Brain or no brain. If you leave me, they'll make you fight the champ. That doesn't scare me. All right. You've got to learn to be nice to June, Pete. She's going to be my wife. I hate her. She's taken him away. Like you. There you are, Commissioner. Thank you. Now, will you sign here, champ? I sure will. Right in the next one. I forgot B takers. Hi. 
How's it look, promoter? The boys in the thing. The box office? All green, mighty green. Two weeks to go and we're sold out. Promoting fights is a cinch. All right. That's enough. You look fine in there, boy. How you feel, Terry? You gonna knock him out? What round do you think you'll take him in? Excuse me, fellas. We'll see you later. Hey, Pete. Hey, Pete. Come on, Pete. Give us a smile. Only two more weeks. Yeah, and I feel fine. Too fine. You gotta ease up. Today is Friday. Take tomorrow and Sunday off and go to the mountains and relax. Forget everything. Swell. I can make good use of the time. Darling, do you think the marriage clerk will keep our secret? A fistful of money can stuff up an awfully big mouth. You better hurry up. We'll never get back to camp on time. I don't want to go ever. Oh, darling, you must. But I don't want to. I haven't even had a chance to cook breakfast for you, and I did want to show up, so... We'll have a lifetime of breakfast. But I want to cook it now. Come on, sweetheart, smile. This is our honeymoon. I can't, I just can't. I thought by now I'd get used to your going, that I'd stop being lonely, but now it's worse. I'm frightened. I'm frightened of tomorrow and every day after that. Oh, darling, let's run away somewhere. We could go to Mexico, South America, anywhere. It's not that easy. There's too many people involved. There's too much at stake. I just can't get Candy and Punchy out of my mind. June, honey, stop thinking like that. Your wonderful face, all battered up. I couldn't bear it. Your body. My mom had a pink satin gown when I was a kid. That's what you're like, pink satin. I love you so much, Terry. I don't want to be a ringside wife snatching a little happiness between each bell. I want you all to myself, all together in one piece. I'm jealous, Terry. I'm jealous of Pete Sampson, of your gloves, of anything that keeps us apart. You're spoiling me. I'll spoil you more if you'll give up the fighting business. I promised. This is my last. And then we'll go on a real honeymoon. And we'll stay away so long, you'll say, hey, lazy, when are you going to go back to work? I'll never let you leave me. You're a little pest, you know that? Sir, I shall go home to Mother. You do, and I'll beat you. <laughs> go ahead. Get your suit on. Terry, don't go. Pete's expecting me. He'll wonder what's happened. Pete, always Pete. You have to report your honeymoon to him, too. I have no more weapons left. Except one. are taking the short odds, so they're spreading the rumor that I'm a setup. I don't understand all that. Bell's got a couple of seats for you. No, I, I really couldn't. I, I don't enjoy fights. Darling, do be careful. It's 6.30. I better get up to the hotel room and have a nap. I'll uh, see you after the fight, Pink Satin. Then we'll tell the whole world we're married. Taxi!
fight should have been called off. Until he doesn't show up, Bell's going to be in a tough spot. Where's Nick? He never failed me. He'll find Terry. Doc, take him away from me. Well, where is he? Look at the time. It's 9.32. Don't you lie to me, Pete. You know where he is. Pete! Pete, old boy. We've always gotten along great together, haven't we? Only last week I wrote that you were the greatest ring general, didn't I? Surely you've got some idea where Terry is. It's fate. Fate? My eye! If he's not here in 20 minutes, that crowd will tear this place apart. They'll ride us out of here on a rail. Well, where is he? See him behind me? I got every stool in town looking for him. So we skipped town, afraid to face the champ. Well, he'll be sorry. Go and play you two won't get away. Rattle, will you? There's still time, boy. I had to be a big promoter. I couldn't be satisfied with a syndicated call. Shut up! My brother's got enough on his mind. Now go out and call her off or shut up. Terry's here. I know it. Now I'm dealing with lunatics. Sit there. Terry! Terry, boy. Williams, where the devil Shut up! Man. You nearly drove me crazy. That's the veto, and I got his confession. Don't let him get away, long shot. With me, he's like an Alcatraz. What did he confess? Enough? You look tired. We'll call the fight off. You can't do that. Can't you see he's all right? Terry, tell him you're all right. You can fight. You've got to. I'm okay, Pete. That's a great boy. I've always said so. I'll see you later. Why'd you bring that crumb here? I didn't have time to get him to the DA's office. Stop talking and relax. Did he tell you who framed you? I've got 20 minutes to get ready. I'll talk plenty after the fight. Please, Nick. After the fight, lie down. Remember, feel him out for a couple of rounds. No rushing, no taking chances. He's tough, plenty smart and plenty strong. He hits like a horse, remember that. Thanks for reminding me. Don't become reckless. Forget the crowd. I don't care if you lose. Hey, Pete, they're bandaging the champ's hands. You better get over there, Pete. I wouldn't put a past Roselle to slip tinfoil on the champ's bandages. I'll be right back. Doc, take over. Nick, come with me. Can't figure it, champ. Why did Hannah want DeVito to lie at the trial? I'll know the answer to that after the fight. And who the ward leader is, too. That one I gotta watch. Can't see a fight tonight, champ. Why don't you look at it on TV? Ah, that's not the same. Come in. Oh, darling. Oh, darling, I just had to come. Kelly, okay, perhaps I'd better wait for you outside. Don't worry, honey. It's just another fight. Your last fight, win or lose, remember? My last. Okay, Terry, you're on. Well, take another half minute. Did you change your mind? Will I see you at ringside? No, darling. I'm going to wait here. Remember your promise. You won't worry. No, but do be careful. <laughs> I'm glad you're not the champ. Knock me out. You're too tough. Go on. There's a packed crowd here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Miss Han. I'm guarding this guy for Terry. He lied at the trial. That DeVito. That's him. And he confessed, so that makes Terry innocent. I'm so happy. Who was responsible? Well, Terry said something about a ward leader and a big politician. Ask your uncle. Terry! Where's Terry? Hello, Mr. Sampson. Terry just left. So you come to gloat. Why stay here? The slaughter is in the arena. What are you talking about? Milk the babies. Blood! Blood for vultures! What do you mean? After this fight, he won't be worth anything to you or me. He'll be just like Harry punches. Williams is making his way into the ring. This Go ahead! Time. Look! Terry Williams enter any ring. The man's insane. I thought you'd be here. Come on, dear. The fight's about to start. Sam, stop the fight, please. But that's impossible, child. Come. No. No. 
well for the start of round one. I'll stay here, too. I'll watch it on television. Backs off, comes in with his own left hook, barely misses Thompson's body. What's he doing here? I'm guarding him, and nobody's bothering him and talking to him. Of course, of course, sir. How's the fight progressing? It's just starting. I thought... No yakking. I thought he left town. He ain't going anywhere. It's only up the river with a couple of guys. You catch? The champ shakes Williams with a terrific left hook to the body. Another right, a left, the right, a left. The champ is all over Williams. Williams is backing up. The champ is right on top of him. Williams falls into a clinch. the 10-second warning. Working on his face. He's still groggy.
up again with the flicking left jab. And the champ returns with a vicious... Hiya, boys. That Terry's not doing so good. Thompson knocks Williams off balance with a hard jab to the chin. And Williams promptly falls into a clinch. Williams tries a left hook, misses. It's good. Williams lost to the side of the screen. Another left hook to the body. Another left hook, another left jab. Get out of town and stay out. Both hands, a left, a right, a left. The champ suddenly gets Williams into a corner and is hitting him with both hands as Williams is having trouble covering up. What happened to Longshot? Where's DeVito? Terry needs him. DeVito escaped. Sam Longshot said some ward leader and some big poly... You're the ward leader. You're the big politician. You both sent Terry to prison. June, you can't believe that. I convicted him on the evidence I had. Yes. Perjured evidence. Look, dear. You're upset. You'll think differently after the fight. You'll forget him. You'll see. Can I forget that? Can I? Get dressed for leaving. Did you see him out there? Worse than ever. Was that my fault you took him to a specialist? Don't blame me. I never want to see you again. Terry. Terry, darling. I'll see about the ambulance. Please, young lady, let me examine him. He will be all right, won't he, Doctor? I don't like his being unconscious. He may have concussion. Nick, Nick, there's something wrong with Pete, too. Pete. Pete, what is it? Oh, hey, Doctor. Come here, will you? What's the matter with him, Doctor? Doctor, what is it? Well, it could be a stroke, or he could be a victim of psyche trauma. Get him to a hospital, quick. You. You did that to him. He lived for that boy. There's a present for you. It'll clear the kid. That'll send both of us to jail. He wanted him to be like that. If he doesn't get better, I'll kill you. We'll use the ambulance for my brother. Terry! Doctor! Doctor! Talk. Try and talk, darling. Talk. Oh, my head. Feels like a watermelon. How do I look? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> it's love for you. <laughs> Is he all right, Doctor? I think so. How's the head? Any sharp pains? No. Just one big head, that's all. He's a lucky young man. But he'll be all right. Get him to the hospital anyway. I'd like some x-rays just to be sure. He'll be there. No pink satin. Not as good as I thought I was. Ask me. 
Where is everybody? Where's Pete? Pete had a stroke. They took him to the hospital. Well, I gotta see him. Yes. We'll go just as soon as you're dressed. I'm sorry, Mr. Sampson. Must have been too much for him. Fatal hemorrhage. Ruptured blood vessel in the brain. Pete, Pete, you can't go out that way. If you kill this dream, you kill me.